What's up guys, it's your boy CyberYT back with another video. Today, we're diving into the world of cybersecurity with a topic that's both fascinating and a little scary. Hacking WhatsApp accounts. I know what you're thinking. Hacking? That's super complicated, right? Wrong. We're going to break down the three easiest methods anyone can use to hack a WhatsApp account. We're talking mind-blowing stuff here. The kind of stuff you see in those crazy spy movies. Make sure you stick around until the end because I'm going to show you how to protect yourself from these hacking techniques. You don't want to miss this. Alright, let's kick things off with our first method, social engineering. This is one of the most cunning and deceptive tactics used by cybercriminals today. Now, this one's not about being a tech whiz, it's all about being clever and using a little bit of trickery. It's about manipulating people into giving up confidential information. Basically, you're hacking the human, not the app itself. It's a psychological game where the attacker exploits human emotions and trust. Imagine this. You get a call from someone claiming to be from WhatsApp support. They sound professional and convincing. They say there's been suspicious activity on your account and they need to verify your information. They might even use technical jargon to sound more credible. They sound super official, maybe even a little intimidating. So you panic and give them your verification code. You think you're protecting your account, but you're actually handing it over to them. Boom! Just like that, they've got your account. All your personal messages, contacts, and data are now in their hands. That's social engineering in action. It's a masterclass in deception and manipulation. Another sneaky tactic is phishing. This is where attackers send fraudulent messages designed to trick you into revealing sensitive information. You get a text message that looks like it's from WhatsApp, telling you to click on a link to claim a prize or update your app. It looks legitimate, but it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. But here's the catch. That link. It's a trap. It's designed to lure you into a false sense of security. It takes you to a fake website designed to steal your login credentials. The site might look exactly like the real WhatsApp login page, but it's a cleverly disguised fake. And just like that, your account is toast. All it takes is one click, and your personal information is compromised. Now you're probably wondering, how can I protect myself from these smooth-talking hackers? The good news is, there are steps you can take to safeguard your information. Well, first off, always be suspicious. If something feels off, trust your instincts. It's better to be safe than sorry. WhatsApp will never call you asking for your verification code or personal information. They have strict policies to protect user data. And if you get a suspicious link, don't click on it. Always verify the source before taking any action. Go to the official WhatsApp website or app to check if there are any real updates or issues. This way, you can ensure you're getting accurate information. Remember guys, stay vigilant and don't let these social engineers fool you. Your awareness and caution are your best defenses against these deceptive tactics. Let's move on to method number two, spyware apps. These are like those little creepy crawlers that sneak onto your phone and steal your information without you even knowing. Imagine tiny digital bugs that can access your personal data, your messages, and even your location, all without your consent. There are tons of these apps out there with names like mSpy or FlexiSpy, and they come in various forms and functionalities. Some are more sophisticated than others, but all of them pose a significant threat to your privacy. They're marketed as parental control tools or ways to track your partner's phone. But let's be real, they're basically hacker starter kits. These apps are often disguised under the guise of safety and security, but their real purpose is far more sinister. Once installed on your phone, these apps can do some serious damage. They can operate in the background, silently collecting your data and sending it to whoever installed the spyware. We're talking reading your WhatsApp messages, listening to your calls, even tracking your location. They can monitor your every move, making you feel like you're constantly being watched. It's like having a digital stalker living in your pocket. This constant surveillance can lead to a feeling of paranoia and insecurity, knowing that someone could be spying on you at any moment. Now, you might be thinking, how does someone even get this spyware on my phone in the first place? The methods are surprisingly simple and often exploit common behaviors. Well, it's easier than you might think. 
Sometimes, all it takes is clicking on a shady link or downloading an infected app from a third-party app store. These links and apps can look legitimate, but they carry hidden dangers. Sometimes, all it takes is clicking on a shady link or downloading an infected app from a third-party app store. These seemingly innocent actions can open the door to malicious software. Other times, someone might physically install it on your phone when you're not looking. This could happen in a matter of seconds, especially if you leave your phone unattended. That's why it's super important to be careful about what you click on and download, and always keep your phone locked when you're not using it. Being vigilant about your phone's security can prevent unauthorized access. So, how do you protect yourself from these digital spies? The first step is awareness. Knowing that these threats exist is the first line of defense. First off, always download apps from official app stores like Google Play or the Apple App Store. These platforms have security measures in place to detect and remove malicious apps. And be wary of apps that ask for excessive permissions, like access to your messages, calls, or location. If an app requests more permissions than it needs to function, that's a red flag. If something feels fishy, it probably is. Trust your instincts and avoid apps that seem suspicious or unnecessary. And of course, always keep your phone's software up to date to patch any security vulnerabilities. Regular updates can fix bugs and close security loopholes that spyware might exploit. By taking these precautions, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to spyware. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and keep your digital life secure. All right, let's dive into our final method, exploiting WhatsApp Web. Now, for those of you who don't know, WhatsApp Web lets you use WhatsApp on your computer. It's a feature that mirrors your phone's WhatsApp experience onto a larger screen, making it easier to type and manage your conversations. It's super convenient, but it can also be a major security risk if you're not careful. The convenience of accessing your messages on a bigger screen comes with the potential for significant vulnerabilities. Here's how the exploit works. Imagine you're at a coffee shop, using the public Wi-Fi to check your WhatsApp messages on your laptop. Public Wi-Fi networks are often unsecured, making them a prime target for hackers. A hacker sitting at the next table could be using a packet sniffer, which is a program that intercepts data sent over a network. These tools are surprisingly easy to obtain and use, making it a common method for cyber criminals. If they manage to snag your WhatsApp web session data, they can basically clone your account onto their own device. This means they can gain full access to your WhatsApp account without you even realizing it. That means they can read your messages, send messages as you, even access your contacts. Essentially, they can impersonate you and carry out any activity you could on WhatsApp. Talk about a breach of privacy. Your personal conversations, sensitive information, and private contacts are all at risk. Another way hackers can exploit WhatsApp web is through malicious QR codes. QR codes are a quick and easy way to link your phone to WhatsApp web, but they can be manipulated. Remember that QR code you scan to link your phone to WhatsApp web? It's a convenient feature, but it can be exploited if you're not cautious. Well, hackers can create fake QR codes that redirect you to a malicious website or install malware on your device. This can lead to further security breaches and potential data theft. So, if you're ever asked to scan a WhatsApp web QR code from an untrusted source, don't do it. Always verify the source before scanning any QR code. So, how do you protect yourself from these WhatsApp web vulnerabilities? There are several steps you can take to enhance your security. First off, be very careful about using WhatsApp web on public Wi-Fi networks. These networks are often unsecured and can be easily exploited by hackers. If you must use public Wi-Fi, consider using a VPN, which encrypts your internet traffic and makes it much harder for hackers to intercept your data. A VPN creates a secure tunnel for your data, adding an extra layer of protection. And always log out of WhatsApp web when you're finished using it, especially on shared computers. This simple step can prevent unauthorized access to your account. Additionally, keep your software and apps updated. Security patches are often released to fix vulnerabilities, so staying up to date can help protect you from the latest threats. Finally, enable two-factor authentication on your WhatsApp account. 
This adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second form of verification before accessing your account. By taking these precautions, you can enjoy the convenience of WhatsApp Web without compromising your security. Stay vigilant and stay safe. So there you have it guys, the three easiest methods to hack a WhatsApp account. Remember, knowledge is power, and by understanding these methods, you're already one step ahead of the bad guys. Make sure you're taking the necessary precautions to protect your account and stay safe online. And hey, if you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more epic cybersecurity content. Now, before you go out there and try these methods yourself, I have to give you a little disclaimer. Hacking into someone's WhatsApp account without their permission is illegal and unethical. This video is for educational purposes only, to raise awareness about the potential security risks and how to protect yourself. So, please, use this knowledge responsibly. Until next time, stay safe, stay secure, and I'll catch you in the next video.